All right, so in this video, we're going to try doing tries. <laughs> Sorry, that was really bad. Um, okay, down to, business, down to business, rather. All right, so we're going to be inserting these numbers into a try. Now, the first thing we want to look at are what our numbers start with. So we have threes. And we have eights. So that means the root of our try will be three and eight. So now we look at our second numbers. We have, for the one starting with three, we have two, eight, and one. So here we'll have two, eight, and one. For our numbers that start with eight, we have seven, and we have nine. Okay, so now our number is starting with 3. We have the possibility of 4, 7, and 2. So, actually, we don't need to make any new categories here because we only have one number that starts with a 3 and is followed by a 2. So we can full on just do this. And since we only have one number that starts with a 3 and is followed by 8, we can just this list that number under here as well. So 3, 8, 7, 18. And same deal here. We only have one number that starts with a 3 and is followed by a 1. So 3, 1, 2, 40. Now let's look at our numbers that start with 8. So 8, 7, same thing. There's only one number in our list that starts with an 8 and is followed by a 7. And only one number that starts with an 8 and is followed by a 9. So that is a try. But now, let's throw ourselves a bit of a curveball, because that's what we like to do. We never like things to be easy. I couldn't be more wrong. I always like it when things are easy. Oh, I probably should have used the selector for that one. Racing took a little while. All right. Um. So what happens if we have, oh, that got removed. If we have eight, nine, three, and that's it. What happens then? Now we have a number in our list that has variable length. So we have to account for that. Sorry, I didn't actually want to delete my tree, but I did it anyway, so. There's a small change here. Now we have 893. We have to know when 893 ends. So we add kind of like a terminating character. Number or pound sign or whatever is a good good one to use. It's just very comprehensive. It's easy. So now we look and we say, okay, well we have our number starting with 8. And we go down here, we have our number starting with 7 and 9. That's all well and good. Then we have two numbers now that start with 3. So we're going to eliminate this kind of bottom branch here. So we'll go, we're going to take that out. We'll put it back. So we still have 8, 7, 7, 7, 0 on this side. But now on this side, we have two possibilities. Okay, so I assume that we can just toss a 3 in here because that's the next step. And then we'll have Oops. Ooh, I don't know why that shifted. I don't want one of those branches. Good. Okay. So we have 8, 9, 3, and now we have either the choice of falling with a 1 we're following with our terminating character. So the only number that we have that is 893 with a terminating character is 893 with a terminating character. The only number that we have that is 8931 to start is 89313. So an important note to make is the height of a try is just the length 
of the longest key. So here our longest keys are five characters long. So that means that the height of our try is five. So that in turn means that the complexity, the time complexity for this tree, um, I'm guessing for searching, is going to be O of N in its average and worst case, because um, where N is our height, depending on the longest um, number, if we're searching through, then we have to go through N times to find our number where n is the height again. Anyway, I hope that was clear. I'm really tired, so I may have kind of jumbled up my words a bit. Um, but yeah, I hope that was understandable enough. And uh, yeah, feel free to, to ask some questions in the commentary and stuff like that. Anyway, that's it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, suggest ideas for new videos, and happy studying.